Hello, I am Dr. Louise Aznavour, clinical psychologist and creativity consultant for the general public as well as the businesses. Today I'd like to talk about resilience and use a poem to bring about this subject. The poem is by Dr. Kent Keith, The Paradoxical Commandments, popularly known as Anyway. People are illogical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The biggest men and women with the biggest ideas can be shut down by the smallest men and women with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. People favor underdogs, but follow only top dogs. Fight for a few underdogs anyway. What you spend years to build may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help but may attack you if you do help them. Help people anyway. Give the world the best you have and you'll get kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you have anyway. <laughs> Here is Aznavur take on the subject. As a clinical psychologist and creativity consultant, professionally and personally, I have come to conclude that building resilience while doing the right thing, anyway, is the winning practice. This is one of the secrets of life. You see, faced with difficult situations, many, many, many people give up, and they give up so soon. In contrast, when resilient people face defeat and they fall, like the rest of people, they bounce back with renewed energy and purpose anyway. The key is in the anyway, no matter what. Resilient people are born in the same planet too. They are made of flesh and blood, too. Resilient people also have failures. And they have their fair share of disasters. But at the same time, they go on staying upbeat anyway. You see, a sunflower does what comes to it naturally. It turns its head, its face toward the sunlight. Flowers grow through cracks of asphalt. They reach towards the sun. Similarly, the resilient people too, in any case, anyway, bounce back and turn towards the light towards the sun. In all this, 
The resilient people receive a high dose of survival skills. Each time they bounce back, another tool comes up as a survival skill. The people who protect themselves, they do not build the survival skill muscles. Show me your muscles. The resilient people learn, readjust, and carry on after their visions and dreams. They go after them anyway. The key, again, is in the anyway, no matter what happens. Bounce back anyway. Share these thoughts with friends and colleagues, will you? Because they are going, you are going to bring resilient friends along with you. And if your team gets the resilient muscle and becomes stronger, you become the winner. In the meantime, I, there's so many ideas in my website. Come and visit www.stayingupbeat.com or go to, on the internet, Dr. Louise Aznavour and contact me, share your thoughts with me. Come along, let's create resilience, shall we?